Good morning, everyone. I just woke up and I was craving cake. And I said, love, what are you going to do to get cake this morning? I didn't have any eggs and I didn't want to eat something with sugar. So I said, we could just do this. But right now I'm covering what I'm using for my um, sweetness. <laughs> I usually use honey, but um, I didn't have honey this time. And honey and heat don't really like go together. So here we have the flour, the oil, baking soda, salt, cocoa powder, olive oil, a bowl, and the secret ingredient, of course, dates. It is not as much work as you think it is, trust me. I normally put it in hot water after rinsing it, and then I blend it, or you can just make date sugar all dry and keep it for whenever you need it. So now I just open it and I start removing the seed because the seed is really hard and you really don't want to swallow that. So this one, this second one, I figured it was kind of, I don't know if it's dirt or their ants, but I just put it on the side to wash later. So some people use dates, um, date seeds to make some kind of coffee I'm, I'm not really sure how that works so i'm just keeping the ones that have extra dirt on the side i put about 12 dates and i'm putting two spoons of all-purpose flour i'll write the type on the screen because in this country it was so difficult to get the flour that would meet my needs <laughs> so here i'm putting a pinch of baking soda uh, you should put as much as you want, but normally I feel like when I put too much, even though it makes the cake fluffy, it makes it taste like soap. Now I'm just putting in a pinch of salt just to balance the taste of the sugar because this cake is about to be really sweet. One spoon of 100% cocoa powder and if you want, just maybe a spoon of powdered milk and that's why all of our liquid will be coming from the water that we use to blend the dates so here i have um vegetable oil because this it's um <sighs> colza oil i'll write it on the screen and then some olive oil just to balance the nutritional profile <laughs> and then i just um add the date sugar mix this is like too thick so i'm gonna add some extra water i've added some extra water just to raise out the blender and then we mix and that's all we're putting here if it's too thick for you you can still add water i'm gonna dry the bowl that's going in the microwave make sure it's microwave safe oil the body so that the cake can easily come out remember that the cake will take the shape of what you put it in so yeah this took the shape of my bowl i didn't have anything else that could go in the microwave so i'm gonna put it in the microwave for like three minutes and my hair is kind of this is just how i woke up guys so i'm gonna put it in the microwave for like three minutes show you guys my environment this is the view and then i go back and i check so when i checked this time with a stick i figured it was still sticky so i put it back in the microwave for another three minutes and then here is the result remember it will take the shape of the bowl you put it in and this is so good so firm so clean and i really loved it like i cut the rest into pieces and i was just eating it and doing my work on my computer so if you want something healthy and sweet but you don't want to feel guilty use dates it has a lot of fiber you can have this with peanut butter or with um, bananas as you wish just look at that wonderful cake guys so thank you for watching please subscribe see ya